disconnected. Did you unplug it? Did you unplug it? Because it's not. Uh, the, uh, it was working a few seconds ago. There's no problem with the video. 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 Right, so let me restart it. No. But it says disconnected while it was working a few seconds ago. Let me reboot. We'll see. to just make sure um, it's okay. No, the video is not coming out. Uh, he said he switched it off. But I turned it on. I, I kind of turned turn it on and out of no image. Yeah, yeah. it says it's, it's disconnected. Anyway, let's see. Yeah, well, it's not easy. Uh, but to find out. For, for some laptops, uh, the external motor, the beamer should be in while booting it. Otherwise, I don't recognize it. Yeah. I just leave it in and see what happens. Sometimes your OS does it. I don't know, my laptop, I think it's a hardware thing. I can't remember the music you were playing, but now the Star, Tra Star Wars tune is stuck in my head. No, that was uh, Rick Hasley. Oh, then that's just probably my head. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't understand. It was working a few oh, seconds ago. No, that's not good at all. Oh shit! What the fuck? Are we going to take a camera and put it on his lap? It doesn't will not work. Let's try again. Yeah. It would be a pity because uh, it doesn't fall off the stove. Well, worst case, if your laptop doesn't work, could you put your your sheets or your demo on a, on a USB stick? Or uh, yeah, uh, that, oh, there you go. that was the. Yeah, and then well, you cannot see here, but leave it. You can just. Uh, what did you do? You you press. That was this one. Yeah, you switch uh, between the two. Probably you cannot do it at the same time. Uh, Often that's the case. You can have one. Yeah, but it only works at the at boot time. Either one or the other. Oh well, create that uh, nothing there. this to work is it easy to run this on another system yeah as long as i got my well half half way man that sucks it was working yeah, just yeah. just a minute ago linux system but uh, yeah a linux system with ssh Ah, there we go. Got it. Man, that's fun. Hello everybody, welcome uh, to the last talk for this tent. Um, at the end, uh, if you're sticking around, I'm gonna ask everybody to uh, grab a chair and uh, put them in the back when we're done. Um, but uh, for first, let's uh, get to our last talk. Uh, our next presenter is going to be talking about uh, sniffing cable modem traffic. Uh, speaker is uh, Guy Martin, here he is. Hey. Thank you. So, hi, I'm Guy Martin. I'm uh, from Belgium, and uh, I'm going to talk about so sniffing cable modems. So, here's what I'm going to talk about. First, uh, I'll do this in two parts. First, uh, the theoretical part, let's say the boring part, with how it works, etc. And then I'll do a demo, 
and show um, how it works and how easy you can sniff those uh, packets. About the talk, um, the agenda, what is DOCSIS? Uh, so a brief description of the protocol, the architecture, how the modem registers, etc. what's the uh, available encryption. Um, then the meat of the talk, how to sniff it using the DVBC card or, and then using the packetomatic. Some security concerns. Uh, there's few tricks and stuff we can do, which are really funny. So uh, I'll talk about the privacy, the, the impersonating uh, somebody, to set MP tricks you can do, and some other stuff you'll see, and also the reference. All right, so what is DOCSIS? Well, DOCSIS, that stands for Data Over Cable Service Interface Specification, and it's got mainly three uses. Um, internet, well, that's obvious. Everybody connects to the internet with this cable modem. Uh, but it also has two usage which are less known. Uh, telephony, for example, some ISPs, they sell, well, they, they land um, cable modems with phone plugs with ATA built in. Those ATA, they usually have um, an IP address on a private range which you, can ac you cannot access, and it's like a separate system, it, but it's built in the cable modem. You plug your phone and you place phone calls as if it was your landline. And also...